Uh, good afternoon, my name is Jeff Gonneville. I'm the Acting Chief Operating Officer for the MBTA. Um, right here we have one of our new 60-foot, uh, excuse me, one of our new 40-foot hybrid buses. Uh, we have 60 of these units and they currently operate out of our Charlestown garage right now. Um, few of the, I guess the, one of the largest features of this bus is that it's a hybrid bus. Um, so what that means is that it, it runs on an electric propulsion system and it has a diesel engine. Um, the diesel engine is used only to charge batteries on the bus, and but the actual driving of the wheels is done through electric motors. So this is why it's referred to as a diesel-electric hybrid bus. Um, this particular bus uh, uh, it itself um, has a about a 15 to 20 percent improvement in fuel economy, fuel efficiency to our current standard bus, which to the amount of fuel that we use at the MBTA is, it adds up to a significant amount of money over time. Um, some of the other features of this particular bus is it actually has an engine stop-stop feature. So what that means is that the bus itself will, when you come to an intersection, so it's very similar to some of the newer hybrids that are on the road today, like a Prius, will actually come to a stop and the engine will shut off, and then as soon as the operator starts moving again, the engine starts up all over again. Getting onto the bus itself, we're looking at this way. We have a, a new, uh, new style, new design wheelchair ramp. Uh, the previous ramps on all of the MBTA's other low floor feeds, fleets had a 4 to 1 ratio for a slope getting on board. This is now a 6 to 1 ratio, which is a greater ratio. It gives the, the anyone in a wheel mobility device a bit more space and a, a less drastic of a slope to incline to get onto the bus itself. And anything different inside the bus? Yes, yes, we yes. can go ahead inside the bus. Yeah. So first off, this bus is equipped with automated stop station announcement systems, very similar to our existing bus fleet that we have we have right now. Uh, the bus is equipped with automated passenger counters. So all of these buses now, we will have the ability to count passengers as they board and as they alight each of our, our individual buses. Um, so this is a device that really helps working with a lot of our uh, service planning and uh, 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 determining what routes we need to make improvement on because of overcrowding. Moving a little bit further back in the bus, if you look right over my right hand shoulder here, you can see this has an extremely advanced uh, camera surveillance system. We have the MBTA, one of the most advanced camera surveillance systems in the, in the country. Uh, this camera surveillance system right now is actually transmits all this data back to our control center and make back to anyone that actually is, is viewing the site. So in real time, we can receive and get the information of what's happening and going on in the buses right now. The other significant change that we have now is the seating arrangement. So we have new style seats that are on these buses, which are obviously a bit more sleek and a bit more ergonomic than some of the other seats that we have had on our other buses. We also have a new seating layout over here. And the purpose of this layout here, instead of your typical double seats that you see normally in this area, is to be able to accommodate strollers. Strollers actually have a significant impact on our well time. As passengers are boarding, as passengers are getting on board buses, um, the, the amount of strollers that block the aisleways, that block people from being able to board and alight the buses, actually increases the amount of dwell time we have along our routes. So by designing these buses now with an area where strollers can be tucked in along the side of the route, along the side of the bus, it still keeps the aisleways clear to allow people to board and alight. So this was an idea that we have. We're trying, we're piloting on these 60 buses. Um, it's something that uh, um, you know we've been very well received by a writing public. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, I think that's about it. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate the tour. All right. Nice to meet you.